A few weeks ago I made a video about 3 must have plugins for DaVinci Resolve and I've asked people if they wanted a follow up video and since the response was very positive I decided to make a part 2. So let's jump right into it. The first one is actually a collection of plugins called Editor Collection by Jake Whip. The light version is free and comes with 4 different plugins. The first one is the Whip Grid, which basically lets you have multiple clips laid out in a grid. To use this, stack the clips you want to use on top of each other, right click and select New Fusion Clip. Drag the effect into the Fusion Composition layer and then on the Inspector tab you get to customize however you want it to look. You can change the number of inputs, the grid layout. You can change the position and the frame of each clip and you can also reframe the clips themselves. The second one is the Whip Highlight. This one lets you highlight certain parts of your frame. To use this, drag the effect into an adjustment layer, make sure you have the fusion overlay turned on, and then on the inspector you have a bunch of great options to customize the effect. You can select up to 4 windows that you want to highlight, and you can change the mode on how the windows get highlighted. For example, you can select the window to be highlighted at the center, or you can have it scaled with focus or without focus. And with the fusion overlay turned on, you can select the exact size of the window you want to select, so that's pretty neat. The next effect is called Whip Shake. This one basically adds a shake effect to your clip, but this one works a bit different than the shake effect inside DaVinci Resolve. Simply drag that onto an adjustment layer and then on the inspector tab you get all of these different parameters where you can change the shake intensity, the zoom, the rotation and you can also add in and out points in which the shake animation starts only a few seconds and stops before the clip ends. Alright, moving on to the last effect of this free pack, this one is called Whip Zoom. With this effect you get smooth zooms where you can change the pivot points and zoom into specific parts of the frame and you can also change the start time and the end time. You can change the zoom type from standard to continuous and the zoom will basically continue throughout the duration of the clip. Other features consist in changing the animation length by using the Anim Engine menu and you can also add motion blur to the animation by changing the quality and the shutter angle. And here's a bonus tip, if you turn on Fusion Overlay you can change the pivot point in the exact location you want the frame to zoom in, which is something I didn't know as well. I will leave a link in the description below where you can get this pack for free as well as some in-depth tutorials on how to use every single feature of these plugins. Also thanks to Jake for making such an amazing collection of plugins for us to use for free. Ok so to wrap up the video let's finish off with a different plugin which is more directed towards social media content. This plugin is called Mobile Stack by Patrick Sterling and it basically allows you to stack up to 5 clips and get you something like this. I used to do these types of posts manually and now with this plugin it's very easy and simple to do. Grab the clips you want to use and stack them together in the timeline. Now select them all and choose New Fusion Clip. This will group all the clips together and now all you have to do is drag the effect into the clip and on the Inspector tab you can customize it to your liking. You can choose to have between 3 to 5 stacked clips and an extra option called 5 Alt which basically highlights the middle clip making it bigger. You can also customize things like the line thickness, change the color and adjust any of the clip's position. I really wish I had discovered this plugin sooner but better late than never I guess. Thanks again to Patrick Sterling for making such an amazing plugin for free. And that's it for this video, I really hope you found this useful and if you want more free plugins for DaVinci Resolve, maybe leave a comment below and I might just do a part 3. I'll see you in the next one.